No. All right, it's time for Whose Dungeon Is It Anyway, where the rules are made up and the stats don't matter. This is a Dungeons & Dragons series, Dungeons & Dragons being the pen and paper RPG, not the computer game variants and all that rubbish. We are playing online Hi. with uh, guest stars, or I guess co-stars, not really guest stars. Um, Marv, hey, I am, right here. I am a star. I, Marv, I right am here. a star. Hey, <laughs> I've got a monocle and a moustache, I'm sexy. And he, he is Look the most handsome out of us three, I'll freely admit it. that. And Marv, if you will kindly point to Liam. Liam? Oh. And I don't. He's he point, is point on the, wrong way. The, I'm I'm on this side. To your right. Side. You're right. You're, you got to point to the right. Wrong way. You're pointing at me. <laughs> no, I'm not. Not on my screen. Oh, on my screen. Okay, yeah. There. And that He's, is our majestically appeared co-star Liam the So Heart. This is so weird because Liam is there. He's not. Liam is there for me. Ignore. <laughs> ignore. I'm on the things. left of everyone. <laughs> Yeah, quick, um, Liam's YouTube channel oh. is youtube.com slash the so heart. Marv, do you use your Also YouTube the owner channel? of the SP cast. Do you use your, your, your YouTube channel, Marv? You don't have one, hence why we link. I don't, I don't have one. Hence don't why have we one. link yeah, the nope to AVI when you attempt to click on Marv's name. Yeah, also, yeah. um, go to youtube.com slash the SP cast, because that's like... Hells yeah. Liam's thing that all these guys are a part of. Anyway! Marv, <laughs> And oh, Liam, Jesus. generic ownery person. <laughs> I didn't get a word of that. Anyway, right. <clears throat> uh, I just need to quickly. Uh, this guy, off. Marv, is the dungeon master. And Hello. Liam I have and never I been a dungeon there. master. We're not, we've Ever. never played Dungeons and Dragons before, so this should <laughs> go very, very well. Sorry if I'm, by the way, looking to the to your right. Would it be? Yeah, to maybe. Maybe because he's got left. a multiple screen because he's a fan. To your left, yeah, because I've got their webcams on my screen over there. <laughs> and the webcam is like my git. main monitor. I'm very rich. He's, rich guy. He's he's a jammy git, this this guy here. <laughs> no, he's, he's a not. bastard. We're richer in... So anyway... We're, we're richer in... Anyway, uh, onto the game! Microphones on on to the plot! Yeti. Look, silence <laughs> while I plotify. <clears throat> Our story <laughs> begins... <laughs> With two travelers in the city of Walmer. Walmer? In the Walmer. tavern of the Rusty Loincloth. Oh! Oh, yeah. We have. We have, um. Uh, Mobian Brightbeard. The Gnome Mage. Scourge of the Seven Continents. And we have Akia K Hello. from far to the lands of the east. This is where our story begins. So, um, I'm gonna say, Liam, you can go first. What, what the fuck do you want to do, mate? What do you want to do? Right. So, I'm, I'm the guy with the red cape and shit. You're, yeah. you're, the, you're, this, you're this guy from the lands <laughs> Wait, far to the east. Wait, how tall is Liam, for reference? Can I do how tall is Liam, and what race is he? Um, uh, he's human, he's six foot. You're a gnome, you're two foot. Good, I'm happy. Two See. foot, that's good. So yeah. can, I, can I essentially do whatever I want, except for both? Pre pretty much, just, two foot. just, no, there's... And one of those feet is my <laughs> genitals. So yeah, Liam, mm. where, where, where do you, what do you want to do, mate? What do you uh, want to do? What do you want to do? I'm, okay, I'm going to go over to the bartender and uh, get a drink. You're, you're, so you're, you're going... And persuade him for a discount. Per so, right, right. Oh, oh. Uh, you're going to persuade him, are you? Give me a fucking uh, Do you discount. have... I need to... Yeah. You don't like even know how much one Jesus drink Christ. costs so and that, you're asking for that's... a discount already. Give me a fucking disco yeah. and I'll slice your head off. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, I think there'll be more um, intimidation. Per persuade, persuade isn't one of your skills, so I mean, I guess I'll give you a plus, a plus three for your charisma. Okay. Um. So. <laughs> so do I have? I mean, you, you don't. Do you we, haven't even. Do I haven't have, even do we, asked how much one is? Yeah. By the way, <laughs> viewers, do, we don't even do, know how uh, to play, so we'll work it out. 
No. So if we're, we're, get, we're getting this wrong, we, we know we're getting have, it wrong. Yeah, Shut your face. Um, Please don't comment down below something. saying, you yeah. fucking idiots, you were supposed to <laughs> do a charisma check right here and do this and that. You you were supposed to roll a d6 and not a d20. Exactly. Anyway, roll, roll we, have, we don't know. We'll oh, we should, you should have done that in your, in your nerd voice. Exactly. My god, you guys, you're playing it all wrong. We don't want any of that. So, Liam. <laughs> Roll like, a d20 plus 3 for the charisma check. D20 Friendly advice plus. down the bottom is good so that we can get better. Ooh. 17. 17, right. Uh, you, you walk up to the bartender. He, he sort of nods at you. And then you go... He just nods and like a prick. Listen, 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 here, listen here, mate. Listen here. I don't suppose you'd be willing to let a worthy traveller such as myself have a discount. The bartender looks at you, squints, and goes, A traveller, eh? He says, well, like, is, it, is this like a green I egg? suppose, I suppose I could do something <laughs> for us, yeah? <laughs> usually a drink around, usually a drink around here costs about five silver pieces. Five! I will let, Holy. I will, I will let you have a singular beer. A singular flag and a man. my head in the way of everything. For shut your face and let me talk. <laughs> I will let you have a single flag and a veil for uh, three golden pieces. How does that sound? Go gold, you gold. Mean silver. <laughs> no, 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 five no, silver. No, but I'll give it to you for only three gold pieces. <laughs> that was that no, a no, deal. That was that a deal. <laughs> That, Done. That was, that was, <laughs> and no going back. No taxis, that, taxis. That 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 was a cunning. It was a cunning joke. I meant I meant to say three silver pieces. How how does this sound to you, there, fellow yeah. me lad? Me laddie. Fellow fellow no. me laddie boy, lad old Jim. How much money do I have? That's a question. Uh, let me let me just consult with your character sheet there, lad. <laughs> you have eighty four. You we have eighty four golden pieces. Eighty four. Yeah. How many silver pieces? So, a gold piece. Uh, fifty. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll take it. I'll so, take it. Yeah, I'll check it. So okay. So you, how 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 many flagons is it that you will be wanting there, laddie boy, oh sunny Jim Miller? This guy sounds a like he's from Fable. billion and eight. Fable one. I can imagine this guy. A billion and eight. Well, I'm afraid that we cannot serve you a billion and eight. But I see you and your uh, your gnome companion over there. So no, I will give you. I will love. give you. <laughs> yeah, well, I was just about to shout out across the Well, what, what do you mean, <laughs> gnome butt buddy? Whatever you guys I, want. I'm on it's, top. It's <laughs> it's your business, but uh, I will I will. Hey, so that will be. It could uh, be your business be, too. I don't want it to be. That will be six. <laughs> that will be six golden pieces there Silver for pieces. two ales. Silver pieces. Yeah, Ale. shut your fucking face. <laughs> yeah, does that? Does that <laughs> there we go. Here, I'll I'll have I'll have your drinks brought over to you. Look, there's there's one flagon, and there's another flagon. Oh, beautiful! Right, um, so you've you've got you've got the ale. It's taken now, us about uh, five minutes to Nick, get a couple of flagons of ale. Nick, <laughs> it's it's your go. What what are, what are you All going right. to do? Uh, well, I'm gonna. Where is Nick anymore? I'm gonna, I'm gonna look around the the bar Nick's, or the room. Nick's here. I'm going to look around the room and uh, observe this mysterious hooded stranger in the corner. And I'm going to... So, what's this... from the doors where it's like half like... This guy. Limboed yeah, guy, and white world. Guy. And I'm yeah, gonna, yeah, we know. I'm going to casually <laughs> meander on over to him and uh, yeah. say, hello. Or uh, I'll say, greeting. What's my, what's my hometown or something? My home kingdom? Uh, you are from the kingdom of buxom ladies. Okay, I'll say. Buxom ladies. I'll say uh, greetings, <laughs> mysterious stranger. I am. What is my name? Uh, you are no no generic reader. Mobian Brightbeard. Mobian Brightbeard of the. Where was I from again? Of the province <laughs> of, of the province. Cal. Of 
Cal Dawn. Yes, Ickus. of the province. I say greetings, mysterious stranger. Mobius Brightbeard of the. Uh, this is this is me Province it's slow. of slow Cal Dawn. Greet you. Oh, I've got the sniffles. The uh, the mysterious stranger looks down at you. He looks down at you with with slight annoyance on his face because you know he's he's just seen, you know, uh, a tiny gnomey man, <laughs> very very obviously. Gnome-y. I'm not even a gnome. I'm just gnome-y. very. He's, he's a gnome. He's, gnome. He's, <laughs> he's he's very obviously just you know walking up to him, but trying to make it look well, just... casual and non nonchalant. <laughs> But also <laughs> failing at the same time because he's, you know, Stop clearly speaking. going to speak to him. He then uh, stops, and the gnome is just staring at his shins as he speaks. No, I'm the gnome looking, look, I'm the looking gnome, up at him. The gnome is is looking at his shins while saying, <laughs> "My name is Nal Glitter God. It's not that. It's so Mobian. That's, that's not my name. Mobian Brightbeard. Brightbeard. Yeah, that one." <laughs> Uh, where where yeah, do you I... hail from, mysterious stranger? The stranger looks down at you, with with, you know, annoyance on his face and a slightly quizzical look in his eyes, and he goes, "This is none of your business." What what, what do you what do you? What I'm do gonna you hit do, the stuff. <laughs> I clear my throat extremely loudly, and say. Okay, yeah. I apologize for the oversight. Uh, I was merely curious of your origins. However, I would like to know if you have heard it of any important rumors lately. Oh dear God! Um, I'm right. For for the <laughs> information that you're going to get, then you're going to need to pass a charisma check. Okay. Uh, so roll a d20 plus two. Uh, I just I just randomize and uh, that happened. Thirteen. Thirteen. He, uh, he, a slight smile flickers <laughs> across his face, and uh, he looks, he looks down at you, and he says, "Well, clearly, my first impression of you was wrong. I have heard hear, of some. I, <laughs> <laughs> I have heard of else. some strange goings on, far off to the." Westerlands, in the forest of Brightburn. <laughs> what an unexpected plot development! <laughs> <laughs> do you do you care to probe any more, or are you happy uh, with this? Probe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I say, um, yeah, anal probing. Uh, what what's been going on in the in the forest of Brightburn? There has been talk of strange noises coming from the tower of Kaldor. Kaldor. Of of horrible creatures haunting these once wonderful lands eh. of evil spirits and horrors beyond your worst nightmares. Okay. Um <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Mr. Mysterious Stranger. Um, so now I'm going to go over to Liam and I'm going to sit down with my drink and I'm going to tell him about what the Mysterious Stranger just told me. You're going to sit down so, on what, Nick? So hang sit on. Down but there's, over yes. On the imaginary stalls. Over there. Are you, are you, are you going back to your table? You're going. Back okay, so table. right, Liam. It's, it's, it's your, Liam. Liam will return there. It's your turn, Liam. Are you, are you going back to the table or are you going to interact with some more people? I mean, there, there I appears am... to be. Well, Sorry, man. Well, yeah. uh, let's see. Is that like a a faggot over there? <laughs> Where? Ping, ping him. I ping see him. no piles of sticks. I don't ping again. Yeah. You just hold oh, down. Just, just hold. Oh, him? No, he's he's drunk. I'm gonna go uh, slap him. Okay, so you you walk you walk up to the man and then you slap him across Doesn't the face. Do you like the slapping? Chick? Movement. Oh, actually, wait, yeah, okay. A- accuracy check. From what I'm I've seen, slapping. it's normally just D20 for a slap. And then uh, you get, like, D20 D- plus something if D20. you have a mastery of some description. Um, gee, you've got so many weapon masters. Okay, right, D20. Roll, roll a D20 plus 
five. Oh, Jesus. Plus five. He has extreme 20. mastery of his hand from all the... Twenty! Twenty. You, um... Now, what what kind of a slap are you going for here? Are you going for like a... Like a very aggressive a, slap. A very aggressive slap. So he's, like, like trying a, to break your, his jaw with a slap. You, you pull... You pull your hand back... And with an almighty slap, you smash your hand into the man's cheek. He squints up at you in fear and horror and anger. And he goes, Oh, I think you doing? <laughs> you need to change the, um, the Google effect thing you have on your face for each character you do. <laughs> Every single one has a different Google effect thing you put on. I, d I don't. I don't think I can. I don't think I can be bothered. <laughs> this is. I mean, I'm already. I'm mustache. already switching. Oh, look, I'm already switching between the character sheets and you know the actual D and D session. I can't be bothered yeah. to have to switch into the Hangout and true, fucking true. change my shit. Anyway, so yeah. Your slap connect. Oh no, I've done all of that. So right, Liam, you've slapped him. What what do you do now? Um, I go back to Nick, and you, you, him. so you just you just <laughs> walk away. You just and, walk and away. What happens? Walk away around him. <laughs> so yeah. you've you've come back to the table. The man who you slapped has uh, passed out against the wall. The tavern. <laughs> the tavern can. Dead. The tavern. The tavern uh, continues as normal after the brief pause to see you slap the man. <laughs> and uh, it's nice entertainment. Yeah. So, so Nick. Okay, so what, I, yeah, I, I just tell him about what the mysterious stranger. There's a um, a land in the west called Brightburn, uh, where which used to be peaceful, and there has been rumours of mysterious noises coming from the tower of Kaldor. I'm remembering all this. And um, well, of mis impressed. of uh, strange. Well, of creatures course, you remember the Tower of Kaldor. The fucking thing. What shut, is it? Shut your face. I can't see it because yeah, I'm is, like full screen. Is. I'm full screen in the in the roll twenty. So for recording purposes, so I can't ah. see that. Anyway, yeah, I tell him about that. And, and anyway. I say, uh, what time of day is it, Marv? I mean, Dungeon Master. Um, the the, the Dungeon Master has decreed <laughs> it is eight. At night. Okay. So I say, um, uh, what's Liam's character's name? Like, uh, some bollocks. Some, some bollocks Pingleton. <laughs> <Pingles>. <laughs> it's, it's, um, he is, um, um, Akia K from the Easterlands. Ikea K. Oh, Ikea. 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 So I say, oh, yeah, okay. I <laughs> say Ikea, I think we should um, find a place to rest tonight and then uh, see what we can do about heading west towards the forest of Brightburn. What do you think? Well, I slap at Nick for being a pansy. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just say you slap me? Yes. Hold on. All right. So I've, got a, mysterious I've got a high armor block. class here. I'm wearing, I'm wearing like scale <laughs> armor and stuff. And I'm I slap you tall. hard for talking to mysterious right, men. Right. Right. I'm like a porcupine, Liam, man. You're gonna Liam, try and slap a Liam, porcupine. Liam, because because uh, Nick <laughs> is very small, you're going to have you're going to have to roll a d20, okay. and uh, you're also going to have to. Uh, I, I I'm going to have to give you a reflex check because he's quite he's quite a nippy fucker. Um, <laughs> but your your reflex your reflex is minus one, so you need to roll a d20 minus one to see if you hit him. Eleven. Eleven. Um, Doesn't my don't your... my reflexes come into play in this? Because I'm going to yeah, try, yeah, try to yeah, block yeah. it. Nick, you you need you need to roll a d20 plus two. Okay. Do I need to roll higher than him to try and? Dodge it or something. Um, Plus two. Well, yeah, ba well, ah! yeah, basically. Oh, Eleven. Dumb. Right. Well, uh, <clears throat> Nick tries to dodge desperately out of the way of the very unjustified slap, exactly. and Damn the and and the, uh, <laughs> the the top of Liam's hand just just connects with you know. The, the very the very top of Nick's skull, um, 
causing yes. uh, causing not more than a slight annoyance and a ruffle of the hat. Am I wear I'm so wearing I succeeded a hat. Technically. My character sheet yeah, says yeah, yeah, yeah. the yeah, only thing I'm wearing hat. is some scale armor, and that's it. Well, I believe I couldn't. I, I didn't waste hat. money on clothes, so I'm well, gonna sleep naked. Have, you, you have you have a hat. I've I've, right. de I've decided the dungeon master has <laughs> decreed. <laughs> I think you mean hath hath decreedeth. Hath hath decreedeth. Yeah. That you hath hath do indeed it. haveth the hatteth. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, I'm just gonna look angry and angrily at Liam and just then um, me back a little bit. <laughs> no, no. Is it, does this the uh, the what the fuck is this tavern called? The rusty something. The rusty loincloth. That's I even came up with the name. The rusty loincloth. Does the rusty loincloth have sleeping quarters, or are we gonna have to go somewhere else? Uh, the 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 barman the barman overhears your uh internal monologue. No, and but he I'm just says... like looking around. I'm just looking around <laughs> to see if oh, I'm you're, you're looking. You're the... The, right. Uh, you notice you notice there is no uh there is no visible way into the upper part of the bar however you also notice a sign in the corner saying uh if you want to sleep then just sleep in the chairs oh that's not very safe i can just lose all my shit okay so i'm just gonna say uh fuck you liam i'm gonna go find a place to sleep and then uh maybe if you discontinue the slapping procedures we might be able to go on a quest I'll slap your ass if you fall asleep on me and um so I, I step outside you you step you step outside well before before you step outside you have to do a charisma uh, check so you, you walk through the door <laughs> no no but <laughs> as, be, as, as, ask, as you're I have to implore the door to open please don't as you're getting up to leave a uh, an, an adventurer type figure Wanders over, oh, holding yeah. a burning torch, which is quite dangerous in a wooden pub. But he, do, he does, he does it, he does it with vigor, and you know, he he seems quite sure of himself. He walks up to you and he goes, "I couldn't help but over here." It's the same guy. It's the bartender. It's a regional accent. <laughs> I couldn't oh, help but over here. here. They live in the region. It's of it's. <laughs> it's a it's a gruffer voice than that of the barkeep, okay. as you can probably tell. <laughs> I couldn't help but over here. You're heading eastways. I think it was west. Well, no, it was <laughs> westways. <laughs> I couldn't I couldn't help but over here that he was from he was from the east and you're you're going west. Yeah, that's is what yes. I was. Yeah, yes, we are, we are heading mean? west. What of it? Yeah, adventure. exactly. What of, what of it? Sprightly young <laughs> he adventure. He sounds like a pedophile. Well, <laughs> I have heard talk. I, 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 I've I heard many a rumour come from that way. I, I ventured there myself, and I lost something very precious to me. If, oh you, if you, if you, if you could, already. if you could retrieve a a powerful spell for me, definitely, then you would be greatly rewarded. A powerful spell. What you say, say you? I say, in what form might we find this spell? Is it like a, a scroll or a book or? What? The spell is of such a great power. That its form is ever shifting. It could be anything. It could be a potion, a scroll, a book. It certainly isn't because the dungeon master is very lazy and hasn't bothered to generate the spell <laughs> itself. Uh, so he is leaving his options open all right, well, as to what it could be. Well, uh, it could be anything. A candle, a skull... <laughs> <laughs> a, a twig, <laughs> a sword, a shield, a bit of armor even. Okay, the, well, the, op uh, the options. All right, the all right, I get it. I understand, Mr. Adventurer. All right, if we find if we find an item of great magical power, uh, you know, we'll assess it, bring it back, and see how much you know. I I don't know how much it's going to be worth at this time. If we if we come across it while we're in the west, we'll, we might bring it back, and and at that point we'll work out some kind of payment. 
or we'll just, you know, keep it, kill you. <laughs> Who knows? I you know, you know wherever the wind takes us. So, well, I I appreciate the help, little gnomey feller. No, no, no worries about it. Thank you. And I shall I shall take my leave. Okay. He, right. he, wa he wanders off back to his table, and yep. you you just, just now let me go to the table. Just, goes on the Ian Metros. You you just sort of look <laughs> at Liam with a slightly puzzled look on your face as as you as you walk out of out of the door. Okay, good. And fall um, over and cry. Oh, excuse okay, the time, now, viewers. Um, it's one a.m. There we go. Um, I need to get your character. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. It's time for a quick drink from our Enjoy sponsor, Mountain Dew Code Red. No, I'm not. I'm not sponsored by anybody. I just have <laughs> Coca Cola. Coca Cola. <laughs> All these, okay, wow, there, we've there got we all go. these commercial sponsors from such small YouTube channels. How to Blue do it. Yeti, the the they're, 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 three simple tricks to become rich and famous through sponsorships. Get a flat you, you stomach with this weird tip. <laughs> Boy, this <laughs> Doctors and scientists die. hate this stay-at-home mother for this one first, weird trick. First, Rob Schneider was a woman. Then he was an animal. Now, <laughs> Rob Schneider is a stapler. And he's about to find out that being a stapler is harder than it looks. Rob Schneider is a stapler. Rated PG 13. <laughs> Uh, oh. So, uh, spon sponsorship deal over. Um, <laughs> Nick, <laughs> are, are commercial you... break is done with. Back to the game. Are you? Are you? Are you out of the tavern? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's good. apparently just so in the can... door for me. Well, yeah, that's because you're not out. Don't of worry the about tavern. it. He'll put us there yet. He'll put us there soon. Uh, hang on. Are you? I put can... I can't tell... into the map so I can see I've... it. Oh wait, yeah, I need you're to just move drag the players the thing. Players thing. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Hey, hey! Oh, need my <laughs> so yeah, there, there you it go. This, oh, there this is the town. This is the town of Walmer. It's a strange shape for a tavern that was an exact, like oblongy, squarey type thing in the middle. It's the it's because this bit here is a, a locked off area. That, oh, where he keeps was... all his booze. Yeah, 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 and exactly. So that, that's 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 the actual building, and then that's the booze shed with the door just sort of there-ish. Yeah. See. I get. I so see anyway, uh, you you step outside, and um, and you think to yourself as you as you entered the town, you you notice that you didn't see any form of place to stay. You um you consider wandering around to see if you will find a place to stay. Yeah. Well, I just uh, what is this place? The um. What? You what can't place? see what I'm pointing at. The big C shape with a dash in it up the top. Oh, this this bit. The ginormous. Building this there. is that is the keep. Oh, where all the guards stand stuff. Yes. Okay. Well, I am just going to uh, search through the town. Um. And look for a place to stay, or if I encounter any people, it's like 8 p.m. or whatever. If I encounter any uh, guards or something, I'm gonna look My for a guard. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go towards the keep and look for a guard to ask for directions. Uh, you, you get okay. So you're you're going to go just towards like the, keep. To the keep. Uh, unfortunately, just like Skyrim, there are long loading times. <laughs> totally, so that <laughs> totally because the game maker. <laughs> Doesn't have guards already. <laughs> That's totally, totally, oh. totally not, totally this is not. The greatest worries. Dungeons and Dragons <laughs> of all time. <laughs> this is well done, though. This is better than I would have been bothered to do. Oh wait, I see fractal I mapper map. So somebody else made this map, and you just put it there. No, no, you totally, totally not. Uh, you you want you wander you wander towards the keep and yep. and you see you see a guard. He's got a sword all around two randomly... hands. He's brandishing his sword at me. He he does. It's because he um they they are required by city law to 
stand like that. Definitely. Okay. It's, and it's I, to make them uh, look more menacing. Yeah, I say, hail God. Um, where the fuck can I sleep tonight? He looks at you with a slightly angry look and says, "That's no way to talk to a guard, sonny." Uh, but I can I can give you directions if you so wish. Yes, please. Sorry, sorry about the uh, the language. I've had about a uh, hundred mils of of ale. So little guy like me that takes his toll. But that is understandable for such a little fella. So have you have we tried? That. Have you tried the rusty loincloth? Uh, yeah, I saw the sign. On the wall that just said "sleep in the chairs," and you know, considering the uh, the denizens of that place, I was not really going to trust them to just leave. No, leave no, my stuff no, no, be. no. Listen, listen here, little Nomi fella. That that <laughs> place, <laughs> that place is quite safe. I think you'll find anybody who's staying pays a single night's board. And then the doors are locked to make sure nobody can enter. Yeah, but somebody yeah, in there can just safe take... as safe as houses. <laughs> but there's other people in there. They can just steal my yeah, stuff. Yeah, but man. they get they, they get thrown out at two p.m. and only the people who are actually sleeping there remain. Yeah, we prick. Yeah, yeah, but but somebody could <laughs> pretend to be sleeping there, then get up in the middle of the night and steal my stuff, man. Well, well then, if you have any more troubles, come to the fucking keep and speak to us, <laughs> you right. little know me bastard. Right. Uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> man. I'm, so me I'm sorry. All right, whatever. I'm just gonna go back to the rusty loincloth and sleep in a chair. The map hasn't even loaded for me. I don't care. I'm just gonna he, go back to rusty loincloth. I can see the dungeon masters the... just very subtly hinting me towards <laughs> sleeping in the rusty loincloth as being a good idea. <laughs> 